Good morning, my name is Tanya Clegg. I'm the Award Your Body Coordinator. I'm going to take you through the steps on how to book my online exam at a Pearson View Test Centre through the Pearson View website. The first thing you will need to do is access the um, CICM landing page on Pearson View's website, which is www.pearsonview.com forward slash CICM. In order for you to access this and book an exam, you need to sign in using your dedicated um, sign in login details that Pearson View would have created your account and you would have created your own password. If you have forgotten this or not sure of this, it is very simple to um, click on forgot my username, which will retrieve your username for you. You then could click on forgot my password and then you would can recreate your password and your security questions and then use these to log in to Pearson View's website. Now it's important to say that these um, sign in details that you're using on this Pearson View website is completely different to the ones um, for your CICM members area. So please be assured that you've got two of these, um, two separate ones and write these down because you'll need them to access the exam. Now to sign in, you just press this sign in um, and then you'll be able to go straight through to your dashboard. And I've signed in using my sign in details. And these then um, are the pre-approved exams and are listed all of CICM's exams in which you are, would be able to take. Now, not all these exams you would want to take as part of your studying through the qualification. It does list all of ours. So it's the first thing to do is be careful the which ones that you are clicking on to book and make sure that you're booking the right exam that you're studying. So it's worthwhile having a quick check on the study text that you're using in order to make sure that you're, you're um, you're actually booking an exam that's that's the right exam. I'm going to book the combined unit 7AO credit management trade export and consumer today. That's the um, most popular exam. It's the first one that we normally say that you would work through um, if, if you're working through a qualification with us. By clicking this exam, it will take us through to the select exam options. Now the method of which um, we can take the exam. There's two methods. So the first method um, is to go to a local test centre and these are located throughout the uh, towns and cities throughout the UK and worldwide. Now some of these test centres are owned by Pearson View so they'll start with Pearson View in the title and the some are third party test centres that actually are not owned by Pearson View but uh, actually deliver our exams with the same standard. OK, the next option is an online. So you can take this exam on demand online from your home or office if you have a personal laptop and the minimum um, system requirements enable to share your screen and download the application um, for your exam to take place. But today with this actual tutorial is taking you through the option to book an exam at a local test centre. So if I choose at a local test centre, it will then take me through and automatically this will come up with um, a confirmation of the exam in which I've picked, the price and our exams are in English language only. Just click on the next option and this will take us through to find a test centre. Now it automatically comes up with your nearest test centres located. So if, for instance, you were um, on holiday and you still wanted to take your exam, all you would need to do is select in here and put the um, town or the postcode in which you want the test centres to, you know, to show um, where there's test centres in worldwide. So at the moment, um, it's showing us the five um, test centres and these are shown on a map. They're also shown on here with the, um, the name of the test centre, the address and test centre in information. Also the distance, the distance from my address, my preferred address that's been transferred to Pearson View and that would be the same when you registered with CICM.
So in this instance, I can see that we've got, you know, Pearson View Test Centre that's owned by Pearson View. Exams Limited, that's actually a third party test centre because it doesn't start with Pearson Professional. Um, and we, so we've got four um, options here. You can show more, so you can click on show more if you wanted to, to um, change that. But you can select up to three of these um, in order for you to show um, where the availability is. So I'm going to click um, select the first three in able to actually um, see um, you know, if I can actually take this work further. Then I'm going to press next. And this will come um, over and what they'll do is they are going to be showing me appointment availability. Now, this system works on a live booking system. So this is all of Pearson View's clients on a live booking system. And it will show you what availability is in that centre at this present time of booking. So it could change you know, in an hour's time if I was to go back onto the system because um, the seats change, so some people might have cancelled seats. You know, um, these these Pearson Views test centres also operate the driving tests, um, theory driving tests. So there's there's constantly changes in regards to their exam availability. So it's crucial that when you're looking at um, you know making sure your appointment time, you you do take a note of that. So it does change you know, um, from one minute to the next on this booking system. So Pearson Views Corby, it's selected that first and it's showing me um, availability in Pearson View um, Corby. Now, um, the dates that's available um, are clear um, when they are um, shown on this system. They're shown in a darker grey than a lighter. So uh, currently, there is no um, availability at Pearson View Corby at this um, moment. And I'm going right the way through to um, June. Now, this is probably because the fact that Pearson View Corby is not open due to the coronavirus until April the 12th. And they have got a backlog of um, so the, the first availability on Pearson View Corby, I can see is the 30th of July. Now that might not be, um, um, that might be too far away for me to book this exam, especially when I've finished my studying with um, whoever I'm training, um, doing my studying with. Um, there might be a certain date um, that I need to, to book my exam um, so that I can move on to my next classes. So it's vital you check. So. Pearson View Corby might not be an option for me. So I'm now going to select Pearson View Peterborough and see um, where that. Um, so it's showing me that um, Pearson View Peterborough is um, got the 31st of July. I'm just going to go back to see if there's anything um, else available in June or May or April by using the back buttons, um, the arrow buttons on this calendar. So in actual fact, it does say that, you know, it does have availability for me on the 15th of April. So that's the nearest availability for Peterborough. So I know that the 15th of April is my nearest, my, my first availability in Peterborough. I'm just gonna check the third party test centers and it by looks of things that they are open on a Thursday and a Friday, and they've got a lot more availability for me to actually do. I can then check they're both in Peterborough. So really, um, it's about what you know your preference um, and whether you want an exam to take place sooner than later. So I'm going to go on to Pearson View Peterborough and I'm going to pick the 15th of April. And then this will take me through to my test, my calendar to show me that I've selected the 15th of April and that goes into blue. And now the test centres operate um, you know, a normal working day um, platform. So in Peterborough, it will show me whether what availability is in the morning. And we can see that there's none in the morning, but there is some in the afternoon. So I'm going to select this. If you um, thought, OK, Peterborough, I need a morning slot for any reason, you can still go back 
to your uh, your exams and, and rechange that. So nothing's been confirmed at this stage. So I can still say, OK, well, Peterborough, I needed a morning appointment. They haven't got it. I'm going to swap to exams limited in Peterborough and see what they've got. They've got plenty of appointments in the morning. So I'm going to um, select 11 o'clock appointment. And then this comes up with your cart. So you're going to review and confirm what it is. So, yes, the exam is credit management and we, I've picked the location, time. Um, and this is important. This first name and last name must match your ID that you're going to present on the day of your exam. So if it is, yes, I'm going to proceed to check out. I'm going to actually check the administration uh, process and read through the cancellation. It is two working days for you to actually um, reschedule or cancel. So I'm going to accept them and read through that. If you have prepaid for your exam by um, uh, a um, and you would have received a voucher um, code from us, you would put this information in here. And apply that if you haven't, then you're paying for that exam yourself, so you'd follow the uh, debit um, card payments. So I would just um, click on next. After I've done the payment and I'm just checking through that that order is absolutely fine and I'm going to submit my order. And that is confirmed to me in an email um, and it also um, shows on the um, exam dashboard. So I can return to my dashboard, which is your first page that when we went in and you'll show here up and coming appointments Thursday the 15th credit management exam. Now, if you wanted to change that at, 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 at any time, so you wanted to reschedule that or cancel, all you would need to do is click on that. And it will show you here um, the appointment details and it will say reschedule. So you click on reschedule if you wanted to move it around. If you wanted to cancel, then you click on cancel. And that's all you would need to do in that scenario and return to that dashboard. Your confirmation will be sent to you via email and it's important that you look through um, your confirmation and make sure everything's um, correct. You know where you're going, you know where there's parking, whether you have to pay for parking or it's free, you know, just have a check through, you know exactly where you're going and make sure you turn up to your exam centre 30 minutes before the exam takes place to get to go to the reception desk and to get booked in successfully. I hope that's been of help to you. Thank you.